Okay, so today we're going to do some more proofs. And I know we've been doing a lot of these, but every time we do a new lesson on proofs, we're learning more rules that help us prove things. So, example number one. Given that TAL is isosceles and TE is equal to EL, prove that TEA is congruent to LEA. So first we'll write down our given information. TAL is isosceles. TE equals EL. Okay, so the first thing we can do is since we're told that TAL is isosceles, that means this has to be equal to this. So TA is congruent to AL if triangle is isosceles then sides are congruent because A is the vertex angle of the isosceles triangle so that means TA and AL have to be congruent. So now we're going to learn something new. S we are told that TE is equal to EL but to prove triangles are congruent we need two congruent sides. But the definition of congruent is segments who have equal measures. So we're going to use this little theorem to get TE congruent to EL. And the theorem is if equal measures then congruent. Because congruent means to have equal measures. So now we have one side and another side. All we need is a third side. B but if you look, these two triangles share AE. And since AE is always going to be congruent to AE, we have a third pair of congruent sides. So this is our reflexive property. And we have one last step, which is to say, therefore, triangle TEA is congruent to triangle LEA by side, side, side. So our next problem is going to deal with this sh shape, trying to prove it's a parallelogram. So given that AB is parallel to DC, and angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. Prove ABCD is a parallelogram. Okay, so let's write our given information. So AB parallel to DC, angle 1 congruent to angle 4. Okay, so if you notice since these two lines are parallel, that means that angle 2 is congruent to angle 3 because they're alternate interior angles. So angle 2 is congruent to angle 3. If lines are parallel, alternate interior angles are congruent. Okay. So we just got this angle congruent to this angle. We have another pair of congruent angles. And if you look, they share this side. Because if we can get these two cri triangles congruent, we can get this pair of opposite sides also congruent. And that proves it's a parallelogram. So we can say DB is congruent to DB. And that's the reflexive property. And then we can say that the triangles are congruent by angle, side, angle. So triangle DBA is congruent to 
triangle B. Oh, yeah, B, D, C by angle, side, angle. And then we can get DC congruent to AB. DC is congruent to AB because if triangles congruent, corresponding parts are also congruent. And then finally, we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram because if one pair of opposite sides are parallel and congruent, then it is a parallelogram. So those are the only proofs we're going to work with today, but make sure you come back and watch the next lesson where we're do some review of area and regular polygons.